What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of the Always Compete Seahawks podcast. I am Sam. That is Mike. And today, it's 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 maroon shirt day here. On We're the twinning. Always this was unintentional. We're twinning today. Yeah, it's 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 maroon shirt day. It's an annual day on August 29th. Every August 29th, we wear maroon shirts. It's Adam Levine is having an absolute field day right now. Yeah, I mean, so uh, last night was a great night for Seahawks fans because we finally watched a team play football. Real football. Real, like, non-Kiwi level yeah. football. Mm-hmm. And it was the Seahawks shutting out the Chargers 27-0 to end the preseason with a 1-2 and record. This now gives us about – so the games are actually a two weeks or something from today, right? Yeah, two yeah they're two weeks, yeah, because next week's like an off week. Yeah, so we're recording on Sunday, uh, August 29th, therefore making it two weeks until – the games uh, officially start for the Seahawks. Um, the final cutdowns are Tuesday. Due by Tuesday, Tuesday at four Eastern. Um, you best believe we're going to have a video for that. Talking mm-hmm. about everybody that got released. Um, yep. But I'm I'm very much uh, happy with the result we got from last night. Yeah. Maybe there were some really good players who really came out and showed what, what they had. And uh, I think we just start begin, beginning breaking it down. And um, I'm going to start with kind of my biggest notice from last night, I guess you could say. I think Nick Ballore secured a spot on the start, on the 53 with the linebacker job. He had believe, like eight tackles last night. Yeah, dude was all over uh, the place. He was all over the place. He got in the backfield a couple times. He, he looked really good. And I, I think he definitely secured a spot there. Another thing that I noticed is that I believe last night Cody Barton locked up starting strong side i know daryl taylor had a great game on the end but cody barton he blitzed really well i believe he had five tackles yeah he, he looked he looked I mean, like overall really good the game he forced a fumble that marquis blair yeah to, to, was there marquis a fumble blair, or a pick oh i don't my know god watching marquis blair make a make I saw, a, a big um, time play is just like it, it's I like saw, it's, it's like euphoria yeah i saw a tweet i think it was by um by mike and he said um when Cody Barton forced the fumble on the Marquis Blair took it, he goes, whoever uh, scouted, whatever Seahawks scout scouted them at uh, Utah is lighting oh, a yeah. cigar right now. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Lighting the cigar and the smoking like on that. a Utah pack. Um, yeah. <laughs> but. but that was great to see. I think definitely Cody Barton and Nick Bellor played great at linebacker yesterday. Uh, I yeah. think another guy, and this was kind of an overall theme of the preseason, but especially yesterday that locked up a roster spot was Alex Collins. Dude looked amazing. He looked like the best running back on the field for either team yesterday. Mm-hmm. I mean, he looked um, he looked electrifying. He was making cuts. He was breaking ankles. I mean, he was telling guys to Irish dance with him on the field, catching passes, running. I mean, he was doing it all. Um, yeah. I really think he is in good position to compete for a running back two spot right there. Um, but he is definitely a guy that was on the fence that I think definitely guaranteed his spot on the roster uh, come cut mm-hmm. downs. So. Yesterday, yesterday was a great day for a lot of guys. Uh, you know, you mentioned Daryl Taylor got his first career sack, which was just – Actually, had a sack and a half. Sack and a half. But he got, that, he, no, I'm sorry, finish it. I'll, I'll, no, no. I was just going to say that that first sack that he had, just completely just dusting that offensive tackle, reaching around, grabbing Chase Daniel. I mean, yeah. that, that's enough to make a grown-ass man cry. I mean, I, I had a tear rolling down my eye when I saw that from Daryl Taylor. Marquise mm-hmm. Blair looked good. Cody Barton, you mentioned. Nick Bellore. Um, also, I think Kerry Hyder looked pretty good. I believe he was the other guy that got that half a sack. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I believe it was Kerry Hyder that got that half sack. So, both of those guys looked really, really good. Alden Robinson, um, Rasheem Green uh, made some nice, you know, had some nice rushes on the passer. So, was really, really happy with our defensive line and linebacker core uh, yesterday. Um, and another guy who just played well. I mean, he wasn't really not going to make the roster. Geno Smith. Yeah, Geno Smith played really Geno Smith well. Turned into the Russell I Wilson mean, yesterday. Yo, so. another guy who had a really good night was Sean Mannion. Yeah. Sean Mannion really did himself well. I'm looking at the box score because I wanted to see, you know, kind of what the official, like the technical official results right. were from the game. And um, he had uh, – he went 13 for 15. Pretty good. 77 yards uh, with a one touchdown, no picks, with a 110 passer rating. 
I don't think he I don't think he's gonna make our roster, but that's probably good enough to make another team's roster. Yeah, I don't know if we can still have um I don't know if you can have bets on the on the practice squad still. I don't know if that's still a thing. But I mean, hey, I, I definitely take it. A couple other guys, uh, Jared Hewitt had a sack, had a half a sack. Miles Adams had a half a sack. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daryl Taylor, Daryl Taylor also had a tackle for loss last Darryl night. Daryl Taylor, it felt like every play was very close to getting a sack. And yeah, he pressure like he got a lot of pressures yesterday. I feel like so was really happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, let's uh, kind of talking um, that on Alex Collins. He led our team in receiving. Uh, yeah. seven catches for 52 yards he had way more catches than the second guy which was mr friend of the show Woo! josh johnson josh johnson was also the second leading rusher i believe yeah second leading rusher by four yards come on i mean it's not it's not a wide gap something that i feel like was very telling to me was to see dj dallas not play and to see I- rashad penny I play. think right now DJ is higher on the depth chart that than Rashad Penny is 100. Yeah, because Chris, I, I, Chris Carson and DJ, I think right now are the one two. I don't. I think Penny. I think Penny Collins and Josh were fighting for roster spots. And mm-hmm. honestly, of those three, Penny played the worst yesterday. Unfortunately, yeah. he, he he didn't look fast. He looked he looked sluggish. And I like, know he's rusty because he hasn't really played much. But like that's not really an excuse when right. I mean, I mean, it, it can be used as an excuse for why you're playing bad, but it can't be an excuse to put you higher on the depth chart. Right. I, so, I was talking to Nathan Ernst last night real quick before we kind of move on mm-hmm. to some other news from this game. I was talking to Nathan Ernst last night, and I was talking, and I was like, I, I just think that getting rid of Penny, or at least trading him, would get us any value possible that we can get from him. Yeah. A. B, I'm confident that DJ Dallas can do Penny's job just as well while it's staying twice as healthy. It, it, it's kind of the sad truth. It, it just is. Penny yeah. cannot stay healthy. No, he can't. It, it, he really, I mean, he can't. I, it's just it's just a fact. I mean, looking at some other guys, we had Dwayne Eskridge make his NFL debut. Uh, he had oh, my a, gosh. He had a reverse for nine yards. I mean, he had a jet sweep for nine yards, which is just like Shane Waldron. Just inject that into my veins. veins. Yeah, Please. Shane Waldron. Yeah, and, and then Sean Hammer a... probably doesn't even know what a sweep is. Yeah, he's like, what? He's like, what huh? are they running? Um, what's what's a motion? I don't know. I don't know what that is. That's foreign foreign concept. Damn, he sees somebody motion. He's like, false start. False start. <laughs> <laughs> Shane yeah. Waldron just lives with motions. I just I love it. We mentioned this yeah. before, and I'm not going to simp over Saint Shane Waldron more. But man, I just even in the glimpses that we've seen, these motions, these jets, even a couple times, and I got mad because I wanted to see D. Eskridge get the ball. But I understand this; they were doing fake jet sweeps. I mean, those were two; those are two words that Brian Schottenheimer has never used: fake and sweep. He's never used either one of those. <laughs> yeah, he's never had a play fake in his life. No, never. He's never done a play action. So they would have him like jet sweep. They'd fake it. I would see defenders go over to Eskridge, and then boom, backside. There's a guy open. Oh my god! Play. Gerald Everett made his first catch last night. Uh, sure, it was a catch for two yards, but doesn't matter. It was I, a catch. I was surprised that he played. I think they just wanted. To he get he him. played like he played like the first or second drive. He didn't. He didn't. I, I he think didn't they much. just wanted to get him. You know. Yeah. And get him in. He, yeah. He sat out for like a little tiny stint in the in the uh, in in the training camp. Maybe they just wanted to get him get his legs kind of moving a little bit. Uh, right. So before we kind of move on here. So, so actually, I was going to kind of segue us into our next oh, thing right. that I, I really thought that we should talk about. Mike, if you just want to pull up the box score real fast and we can move on to whatever you want to do in a second. Yep. I'm sorry for kind of jumping in, but I, no, I just want to talk about this. When you pull up this box score, take a look. There's one guy that really sticks out to me in particular, but what's one guy on this box score that needed to have a really good game, but didn't? It, it, he's he's staring me right in the face. Here. I I know you're talking about, unfortunately, and it's a guy that we both really like, Hey Johnson. Yeah, just just two catches for 13 yards. Unfortunately, I believe he only had three targets. I could be wrong, but I believe he only had like three targets. He had two targets, so he caught all of his targets. Oh, so two targets. So you know, yeah. two targets, I mean, it's just like he, he didn't do himself any favors. Fuller, um, 
no, not, not Fuller. Fuller had a good game. With Aaron Fuller game. playing and playing pretty well at that, he had a really beautiful yeah. special teams play that that gets you onto teams. He caught that Michael Dixon punt at like the two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was, by the way. Come and on. he, and he hustled. On. I mean, Michael Dixon come is on. absolutely ridiculous. He's That's the just best insane. Punter. That's yeah. some shit you do in Madden. Like when you get like yeah, the perfect they were talking, accuracy, perfect. Yeah, they were talking on the broadcast. They were like, you never see a punt go that far and bounce backwards. I, okay, when he did that, I was like, oh, it's a good pump, but that's going to be a touchback. And I didn't care. It was 10 seconds left in that preseason. And then to see it just boink and just bounce. And it bounced on like, the goal line. It bounced on the goal line. He literally like, put bro, it how did you do so that? exact. He how? put it as close to the end zone as it could be without you being could give me a thousand tries and I wouldn't ever come close to doing that. And he just and he's all he's so casual about it. He just walked over like did that to Pete and was just like all right. punt. So nice punt. So yeah. nice punt, mate. Um so, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, unfortunately Kay Johnson just you just you wanted to see him get more targets, you wanted to see him get more opportunities. Unfortunately, it yeah. didn't happen. Two for I mean, 13. Like, yeah, it's, it's not going to get you much credit. With Aaron Fuller playing well and Penny Hart coming back and playing, yeah, it, it's it doesn't it doesn't help his case. I mean, like Josh Johnson yeah. definitely did himself good. Josh Johnson did himself nights. good. Alex John Collins. Radigan, yeah, like kind of talking about like Roberson, kind of talking about like undrafted down. slash like fringe roster yeah. spot players. I mean. Jared Hewitt had a pretty decent game. Miles Adams was a defensive tackle that really continued to stand out to me. Not that he was a fringe guy, but again, Nick Bellor, in case there was any wondering, he had a yeah. great game. So. Six tackles. Uh, Cody Barton had a great game, but John Radigan really had a really nice mm-hmm. night. He did, uh, which is, I mean, that's that's really good for looking for him because we we have a struggle at linebacker depth on this team. I'm I'm pretty sure that Pete would have no issue. Yeah, keeping him on the team. I'm pretty no, sure. Absolutely not. I mean, absolutely not. So, I mean, th- th- this is there are some really good signs from last night. Really fast, I just want to admire the fact that Michael Dixon had four punts, uh, for with 179 yards in total punts, and he had three that were inside the 20. Oh my god! It's just insane. And Jason Myers made all his kicks. He had 75 percent of his punts inside the 20 yard line. Our special teams is, is so underrated. It's not even funny. Our special teams is so underrated. And we have a pro uh, bowler and Nick Ballore. I mean, like, come on. This is come on. This Tyler is, Ott is a demon as well. Cream of the crop. Yeah. I mean, this is that would tonight was a really good night to get confidence up. I think it would have really killed confidence in the locker room if you went 0 3 like the Rams did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And obviously, Suck obviously Rams. preseason doesn't really matter, no, but really trust matter. me. It, it whenever they win and they have a really nice night, like at the end, you saw the team getting excited. They were yeah. jumping around. It's just like Jared Hewitt got a sack, boost. and the and like the entire like half of the team ran on the field. It's just they, a morale like, boost. Around. You know what I mean? Like it yeah, it's a morale do much, booster. Doesn't do much for Russ, DK, Bobby, whatever. But for those other guys, the backup guys, and they're gonna have to come. in. some of those guys at some point in the season are gonna have to come in and make plays. It's just that confidence boost to say, yeah, we did that. We can play at this level. And and it's know, also a confidence it. boost for Pete. For Pete, if, for Shane, for if Chris Ken Carson Horner, ever yeah. gets hurt, God forbid, but it's happened right. a lot, as all Seahawks fans know. Right. If Chris Carson gets hurt, now Pete can be like, "Oh yeah, Alex Collins, it's your time," or DJ Dallas, it's your time. You know, that, Josh that's he can Johnson, Josh baby Johnson, it's your time. No, yeah. but listen, this this is the sad truth about this. 27 of the players we saw last night will be released by Tuesday. Unfortunately, yeah. Which, it really sucks. Cut day is a sad day day. in the NFL. It's a very sad day because there's guys who will get cut and will never take another snap again, preseason or regular season. Yeah. This is the last – some of these guys, unfortunately, that we saw yesterday have played their last snap of football in their life, which is very sad to think about. So that's actually going to segue into what I was going to talk about, and we can probably finish on this. Yeah. M- talking about yesterday as well, but more so during the whole course of the preseason, who mm-hmm. are three guys that you think improved their chances drastically of making the roster, and are who and who are three guys that you think decreased their chances of making the roster? I'll start. All right. I think I like one this. decrease was Rashad Penny. Yeah. I. He just never 
He didn't play in the first two because he wasn't healthy. He wasn't healthy enough to. You want to see a guy who you picked in the first round just dominate in the preseason. You know what I mean? And he was playing second stringers, too. He was playing second stringers. He wasn't even going against the starters. Sure, he had a second second string line and all that, which I guess you can easily counter counter that argument. He didn't have the wiggle that DJ did in the second game or Josh or Alex did in this game. Josh didn't even have wiggle. Josh just, like, he was, like, head down. He had a little wiggle, bro. I mean, he was like, bro. Josh was trucking. Jo- Josh, Josh was Josh like, was trucking. That's the bro, thing. Josh, Josh, put Josh his was head like down. Josh was like, ooh, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, the yeah. Like play, he got posted. Alex by, uh, Collins had a disgusting. Yeah, juke. that was that was disgusting. That was like a juke move that absolutely froze the corner. That and that's the, he got like that's twelve yards to set up a touchdown that he would score later. That's so badass. That's the type yeah. of juke moves that that gets that corner cut. Like, when that happens to him, he's just like, all right, I'm cut. I'm out. <laughs> yeah. He just takes off his helmet and walks out of the Josh, stadium. Just also, not to simp over Josh more, but, you know, we a bunch of Josh stands. He got posted by Highlight Heaven because when he trucked that DB and that DB got penalized, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, Josh. Yeah. No, but now, Josh, I, I got so hyped. That got me, That got me like, so, so excited. My was, number one disappointment was, was Rashad. Yeah. That's totally fair. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, one guy who definitely decreased his chances were Connor Weddington. Yeah, I was really excited to see him play. Me too. I was. He excited. had one target last night, no catches, no yards. I don't think he had any. I don't think surprised. he had any stat, stats all preseason. I was surprised they didn't even like let him just be the kick returner or the punt returner. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of his his thing. Um, but clearly, you know, maybe. Ooh, we just got news involving the Seahawks. Well, Colts left tackle Sam Trevi is out for the season with the 20 CL. Is he their starter? He might. He probably is their starter besides Eric Fisher, who won't be ready for week one. Yikes. So they're on their third string left. T- Daryl Taylor. Man. Come on. Come on, Daryl Taylor. Yeah, come on. Come on. Which, no, but, I, but Connor Weddington, I was really excited to see him return kicks or, you know, you know, to, he, 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 you know he came here to potentially return kicks to potentially – you know, uh, even make some plays on the offensive side of the ball. And he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do that at all. He didn't have any stats throughout mm-hmm. the entire preseason. I say there's like a 0% chance that no. he makes the roster. A guy kind of sticking with the theme of people that I was excited for that, unfortunately, I think just didn't do enough to make the roster. And I think I and think when we did our roster prediction with Nathan, I had him making the roster. Robert Kandichi. I just I don't know. He just I'm didn't not, play. Not it's not it's it. not his fault. I was talking just injuries. I, I was talking to Nate actually I was talking to Nathan actually like last night during the game and I was like, hey, I don't I think Kim Dichi would have made the team if he played. Yeah, I just don't I just don't see it. I don't know. Especially with Geno Atkins on the table. He was and, a guy and yeah. Miles Adams and Jared Hewitt having good yeah. nights last night. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts for him. And, and Monet, you know, Puna, Al, like yeah. This this is legitimately an amazing opportunity for a guy like Miles Adams who had three tackles and half yeah. a sack last night. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. So, so who's your I next mean, guy? My next guy to disappoint in the preseason. This is a good one. This is a good tough question. I'm gonna go with. Hmm. This is this is not easy. I'm, I'm all right. I, I'm gonna go with Akello Witherspoon. He's I was gonna thinking make that too. He's gonna, yeah, make, he's the gonna make the team. Yeah. But I feel like La- last weren't... night he had his best game. I would say last night he had his best performance of the three preseason games. But overall, throughout the preseason, he was just kind of like there. Yeah. He didn't jump out. He didn't jump out like Gavin Heslop was a guy who jumped out. He's a guy that came off the screen. He's like, wow, he's making tackles. He's being aggressive. He's making plays. He's mm-hmm. batting down footballs. That's a guy who could make the roster. Look at Kello. You're just like, it's it's not there. I'm not yeah. seeing it. You know, you're yeah. You, you, you want you want a guy like Kello who's again, I think I think it's not debatable that our corner room is our weakest our corner position is our weakest position. You mm-hmm. want a guy like a Kello to be like, hey, I'm the guy. I'm gonna make plays in the preseason. He really didn't do that, and it's like, ooh, that's. I mean, last night he did make a pretty nice bat down that was very unluckily caught by. Yeah, Josh Palmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not his fault. People are like, no, okay, that's just sucks. Unlucky. How do you allow that to happen? I'm like, that's, that's just that's unlucky. Great defense. That happens one out of every like 
50 times. So yeah. the other 49 times. Well, the 49 unintentional reference that he was a 49er. Oops. Whoa. Um, sorry, so I think, but... Akello, I think my last disappointment. I don't know. Oh, Chuck, I missed this. I guess Alton Robinson had a sack and a tackle for loss last night. Man, he's great. He's yeah, awesome. I love, love Alton Robinson. Isn't Alton Robinson just great? He's he's Don't gonna be a stud. Love... Yes. I'm I'm determining that in two years' time he's a starting defensive end on our team. I'm talking what starting, is with Seattle starting. and like these mid-round picks? I mean, he was a fifth rounder last year, yeah. He was a fifth rounder, but like the thing is he was projected to have like a first round pick potential, but he had off the field kind of issues. Yeah. And he fell. And then, yes, he's been, from what I've seen, he's been clean with Seattle. And he's, and Perfect. in this preseason, he's dominated, like dominated, yeah. dominated. But so I guess moving on to guys who helped their case to make the right. team. Um, Josh Johnson and Alex Collins, we already We can lump them guys. into one. We can lump yeah. the running backs into one. DJ, Josh, and, and uh, Alex Collins all really helped their case to make the roster, in my opinion. Yeah, they all really did. Um, I'd still say Kate Johnson helped his case. I would Overall, say that. I would say, yeah, he helped his case. The third game Overall. was definitely his first game. Third, but I, third, third game, I feel like he needed to have a good game. And yeah. He didn't. But I feel, that, like he did, issue. I feel like he was, he was good in the preseason, though. He showed he could be a, the guy. But I just, it just think, I just think it sucks that he didn't get targets. Um, I mean, looking, I mean, this isn't a stat that you can look at, but Jake Curran had a really good preseason overall. Yeah. Uh, I actually still have the 53 predict- predictions right here. And I had Curran making the team. I think, okay. So, I think my last guy that I'm going to say really helped his chances. Again, I don't think he was a fringe roster guy. Marquise Blair really played well yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think not only does that, I mean, obviously, he's going to make the roster, but that just proves that, A, you know, he's healthy, he's good to go, B, he's a stud. Obviously, we're going to record it in just a little while. Quandre Diggs, we don't know what's going on with his contract and stuff. So the fact that, you know, just having that other really good safety that you can plug in and play at slot or at safety, I think is really good. So those are our kind of – Kind of puts you at peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really does. Our winners and losers there. So I think that's going to wrap it up. And um, that was the Seahawks preseason. We got blown out our first two games. Third game, we won 27-0. We applied a big knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Right <laughs> right in the face. Yeah, I thought charts. you were, like, setting up a joke, and you were like, we applied a big knuckle sandwich. <laughs> I, I don't know why I had trouble spitting that one out. But, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, um, overall, very happy with our performance and uh, I don't know how you couldn't be. So give your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? You know, what were some guys that stood out to you? And uh, we're going to see you guys next time. Peace out. Peace.